In this video, we'll get to know an amazing tool named Scapy. I've included a link to the installation tutorial in the description below. Be sure to install Scapy so you can follow this video while writing the commands yourself. Scapy is a Python library that enables us to send, sniff, and dissect network frames. In this video, as well as the next one, we'll learn the basics of using Scapy. Afterwards, we'll learn about the third layer, and then we'll learn some more about Scapy and its abilities. For now, let's open up the command line and write Scapy, like so. You should expect some warnings. It's perfectly fine. And I'll also modify the color theme so you can easily see what I type as well as Python's output. It's not crucial, of course. So conf.color theme, and I'll use the bright theme. Cool. Now, since this is a Python environment, then dear or help or any other Python function for information retrieval are available for us. And of course, Python code can always be combined along with our Scapy scripts. Cool. So let's learn about packets or frames in Scapy. So packets and frames in Scapy are described by objects created by stacking different layers. Therefore, a packet can have a variable number of layers, but it will always describe the sequence of bytes that have been sent or are going to be sent over the network. So let us create a frame. Uh, that consists of an ethernet layer with an IP layer on top. So let's do it like so, and let's call it my frame. Cool, so look how easy that is. What I did is to use the slash operator to stack the IP layer on top of the ethernet layer. Note that when looking at this object, it only tells us non-default values. So the type of ethernet here, which is well, actually hexadecimal 800, which stands for IPv4 and Scapy knows it. So it helps us by telling us this is IPv4. Um, so this is the type because the IP layer is stacked over the ethernet layer. That's why it's shown like that. Let us look more deeply at the fields of the packet. So I can just use my frame that show. Wow, these are a lot of values, right? So don't worry about the IP fields for now. We'll get to them in details, obviously, in a future lesson when we learn about the IP protocol. So, so far we've learned about creating frames. Let's now learn about sniffing. So SCAPI also allows us to sniff the network by running the sniff command uh, like so. So let's use packets sniff with a count of two. So this means that after running sniff, SCAPI sniffs the network until two packets are received and then it returns. And in this case, the variable packets will store the packets that have been received, in this case, two TCP packets. Now, the return value of sniff can be treated as a list. Therefore, packet zero will contain the first packet received, and packet one will contain the second packet. A helper function summary is available too, and it will provide minimal information regarding the packet collection. So I could just use packets.summary. And here we can only see what layers each packet consists of and the IP addresses and relevant ports. When looking at a specific frame, every layer or field can be accessed in a very elegant way. For instance, in order to get the IP section of the packet, we can access it like so. So let's use, let's take my packet to be the first packet, this collection. And now we can use my packet IP. This gives me only the IP layer. Now that actually shows us everything from the IP layer at above. So IP and in this case, TCP, and then this raw layer that is stacked on top. Cool, um, let's see the source ethernet address of this frame. So let's look at my packet, the ethernet layer, and let's access the source value. Nice and easy. Now let us run a specific command for every frame that we sniff. So first let us create the callback function that will be run on every packet or frame. So for example, we'll just print its source ethernet address. So let's define this function. Uh, let's call it print source Ethernet, and let's say that it just prints frame ether Cool, so this is a very simple function, obviously. 
Um, for example, let's give it print source ethernet and let's give it my packet. And obviously it will just print the source address. Cool. So now we can pass this function to sniff using the PRNI argument. So it will be run on every frame it receives. So we do it like so. So sniff, um, sniff two frames and for each one, PRN use this callback function, print source ethernet. So the ethernet addresses have been printed as a result of print source ethernet being executed where every time it receives a sniff frame as an argument. Note that the same can be written in Python using a Lambda function. So we could do the same as follows. Sniff, sorry, sniff, count of two, and the PRN would be lambda x. And what I return is x ether.src, which basically gives me the same thing. This time we don't use print, but we return this. Um, and this course is not a Python course. I will not elaborate on Pythonic writing. If you prefer to write an explicit function like the one we've written above, then it's perfectly fine. As mentioned in the Wireshark videos, we usually want to filter traffic that we receive and look only at relevant frames. Scapy's sniff function can take a filter function as an argument, that is a function that will be executed on every frame and return a Boolean value, whether this frame is filtered or not. For example, let's say that we'd like to filter only frames that are sent to broadcast. Let's write a simple filtering function that does just that. So let's define a function called um, is broadcast frame which receives a frame and it returns frame ether best, that is the destination address equals equals the broadcast address. Sorry, like so. Yep, so this will obviously return true in case we have a frame which has a destination address of broadcast and false otherwise. So now we can use the L filter parameter of sniff in order to filter the relevant frames. So we use frames equals sniff, again, count of two, just for the example, and we use L filter, and then we give it the name of the function. So in this case is broadcast. So now Scapy is sniffing, and it will stop only when it receives two frames that have been sent to the broadcast address. Cool, so obviously every one of the sniffed frames will have the broadcast address as its destination. Let's verify that. I can use frames zero ether to get the ethernet layer destination field. Cool, and let's do the same for the second frame we sniffed. And it is the same. So in order to clarify, let's go back to the whiteboard and use the whiteboard here. Uh, so basically this is our flow of operation. A frame F is received by the network card. It is then transferred to L filter with F as an argument. If the filter function returns false, then F is discarded. If the filter, that is the L filter function returns true, then we execute the PRN function on F. That is, we run the PRN function with F as an argument. So now we can combine these two arguments of sniff namely L filter and PRN and print, let's say the source address of every frame that is sent to the broadcast address. Can you tell how we're gonna do this? Well, you can try it for yourselves for a sec. And now let's do it together. Um, and we can do it using Lambda in this case. So let's use sniff count of two. And I would like to filter out only frames with ethernet address destination address equals the broadcast address. And for each of these, when it's filtered, then we should run this function. So let's say X and print the source address of the ethernet layer of that frame and allow it to run. Cool, so we got one frame and the second frame, currently both are sent from the same ethernet address in this case. Cool, um, this would be obviously uh, equivalent to writing the following 
line without lambda. So sniff count of two and with the L filter of the broadcast frame that we've written before and PRN would be print source ethernet. So this is just the same. We don't need to run it right now. Cool, this is readable, quick and useful. Uh, have you noticed that we love Scapy? All right, so, so far we've learned how to sniff frames. When sniffing, we know how to filter only relevant frames and how to execute a function on each filtered frame. One thing that's important to note for writing scripts with Scapy, is when you write a script using Scapy, use the following command as the first line of your script. From Scapy, dot all, import star. Then you can go on and write the rest of your script. So now it's your turn. I will leave you with some homework. Write a script that is a Python file, a .py file, that uses Scapy and sniffs until it receives five ethernet frames that contain an IP layer. For each one of these frames, prints its source ethernet address and its destination ethernet address in the following format. Source address, then this kind of an arrow using equal and greater than, and dest. So this is an example of a frame sent from A, 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 and so on. So six times A, A, two B, 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 and six times B, B. All right, so I'll leave you with this homework for the next time. In this video, we've met Scapy and seen how cool it is. We've learned how to sniff, how to filter packets, and how to run a function on sniffed packets. In the next video, we'll learn how to create our own frames and send them using Scapy. See you then.